Hey peeps, it's Aldo from Zero to Mastery, and in today's tutorial, we're talking about the chunking technique. Now, this isn't just any tutorial. It's part of Andre Nigoy's complete learning to learn bootcamp course available on Zero to Mastery. So if you want to learn more about different techniques and strategies for learning, click the link in the top right hand corner or check out the description below for the full course. All right, that's it from me. Let me hand it over to Andre. Enjoy. Let's talk about our next technique, and that is chunking the subject, or chunk the subject. What does it all mean? Well, there's technically two parts to this. The first is the idea of chunks. We learned in the science section that chunks are simply compact bits of knowledge, right? We have different chunks in our long-term memory, and we connect these chunks to create concepts and make meaning and have understanding of the world around us. Chunking is this idea of the mental leap that helps you unite different bits of knowledge into something meaningful or give you context in your life. A good example of this is the alphabet, right? We have the letter A, the letter B, the letter C, but we can chunk these things together to create meaning, right? I can combine C, A, and T to form cat, and this different chunks of knowledge become one subject. And this idea of chunking we learned was what makes our brain run more efficiently. Every time I look at the word cat, I don't have to remember, oh, this is a C, this is an A, and this is a T. Instead, because we've chunked that knowledge, because we've put it into long-term memory and we know C and A and T really easily, we can immediately combine them, not think about them, and immediately form the cat image in our head. You don't need to remember all the details. And this doesn't apply just to words. Even with cars, for example, driving, when you first start driving, you have to think about a lot of things. You're very, very focused. But then as you get better and better, you stop thinking about driving as much and becomes almost an autopilot where you naturally can move your foot to brake or accelerate. Once you chunk something well, you go into this idea of a zombie mode where you don't really think about it and you just go on autopilot. And again, this is something we learned with habits as energy savers, right? Chunking is related to habits and this idea that we save our brain to learn different topics. So that's the first idea of chunking the subject, breaking down the subject and chunking it into something that can eventually go into an autopilot. The second is that we learned we can only hold four chunks of knowledge in our working memory. And that's why when we encounter a big problem, it's really hard to solve a big problem, right? If you wanna become a professional web designer, and you know nothing about web design, well, that seems like a really long journey. It seems like you're never going to get there. And this is where we want to use a strategy called divide and conquer, which is another way to chunk a subject. What we want to do is when you encounter a big problem is to divide and conquer. That is, break things down into small pieces, small chunks that you think you can store in your long-term memory. And this is also a way for us to get past the obstacles of learning. When we find a subject so hard, well, break it down into small little chunks. How can we break it down into simple things that we can learn and then combine that knowledge to solve that big problem? That's how businesses work, right? Businesses like Apple don't all of a sudden create the iPhone. Instead, over the years, they learn how to build a computer. And then they learn how to build and optimize a chip. And then they learn how to maybe make screens that are touchscreens, create apps, and so on and so forth. And each chunk of knowledge leads to further and further progress. So how can we use this idea of chunk the subject into, let's say, language learning? Let's say you wanted to learn Spanish. How can we use this knowledge? Well, let's break down the problem into separate chunks. To go from zero to fluent in Spanish, that's a big journey. But instead, let's start off with this. Let's say we want to start with the most common 100 words. I Google 
100 most commonly used Spanish words. What this does is we help with the positive reinforcement at the beginning, before things get hard. And we remember, or we use recall and practice and the Feynman technique to practice these 100 words. And what this does is this knowledge becomes chunked. It also help us to get that positive reinforcement because we only start off with 100 words in Spanish and because they're most common, it's going to seem like we know more Spanish than we actually do. Even though we only learned 100 words because they're most commonly used, we can actually start using Spanish to communicate and get that positive feeling at the beginning of our journey. Then I might move on to learn the 10 most common verbs and actions. That's actually how I learned to speak Spanish. I had a job a couple of years ago where I had to go and work with the staff for a month where they didn't know a single word of English. I had to speak Spanish and I knew nothing of Spanish. So I dedicated a month to study Spanish and used this exact strategy and I was completely fine. I was able to work with the staff for an entire month just speaking in Spanish. And if anything, my Spanish improved at the end of that month because I got to practice it. So I started with that positive feeling and then I was excited because I was able to communicate in Spanish and that furthered my learning. So we use this divide and conquer approach to develop these chunked knowledge that can become automatic. But it also allows us to break down complex, hard things to learn into manageable chunks. I wonder how many times I said the word chunks in this video. All right, I'm getting distracted. Remember, when you look at a company like Apple, when you look at people like Elon Musk, and you ask yourself, I would never be able to create the next iPhone. I would never be able to create the companies that Elon Musk has created. Well, remember, it took years and years of work, many chunked knowledges. It's all about starting today, forming those chunks, and eventually, that knowledge will compound. And there you have it, folks. A big shout out to Andre for guiding us through this lesson. If you enjoyed this video, just imagine how much more there is to learn in his complete Learning to Learn Bootcamp course. Again, you can find that linked in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future tutorials from Andre and other expert Zero to Mastery instructors. Stay dedicated, keep on learning, and I'll catch you in the next video.